Good morning. Bike is fully loaded again. It's quite interesting with this five litre on the handlebar because it, make, it makes the steering very, very vague. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway, I'm going to try it like that. I'm going to try it like that. I've got to go up here now. We're going up the mountain. So last week when I filmed, I, the camera was sort of pointing at the ground the whole time. So I'm going to try to talk to you guys up a bit more here today. And hopefully. I won't be filming the ground if my head's like that. I'm going to try to talk to you guys up a little bit more like that. Alright, let's see. let's see how it goes. I've got to get up the mountain today. I've got to try to get some roof on while this weather's nice. Alright, let's see how we go. <clears throat> I'm going to put the gloves on. Just in case I come off. So that I can just not rip my hands up on the rock. Yeah. There's a good chance today that I could come off. Uh, anyway, let's hit it, see what happens. <laughs> Summer's still here. It is warm today. But it's not that windy, so I'm going to try to get some uh, roof sheets painted. No, not the roof sheets, the insulation boards. I'm going to try to get these babies painted. Because I can only do this on a calm day. So, yeah. Get you guys set up over here. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. Well, I think it should be alright. I think it should be alright. You can see what I'm... Hey! Check those bees! Yo! Whole swarm of bees just went past there. Hey, that's cool, man. I wonder where they're off to. Okay, let's try and get you guys level here. See if we can get some painting done. Not that it's going to work, we'll see now. Seems to be calm enough. Seems to be calm enough. It's certainly better than the six meters of the six meter ones are a bit of a mission. So yeah, why not just put them up and paint them up there? A lot of people will be asking. Well for a couple of reasons. One, it's a lot easier painting them down here than it is painting them up there. But number two, it is almost impossible to paint these things upside down without getting paint on the walls 
So we have to paint the area itself. Without painting the beam. So yeah, it's just a whole lot easier doing it like this. And then yeah, some people also ask, well, why, why do you paint them? Why don't you just leave them? You know, because they're already white. And the reason why I paint them, because in Africa we have little things called porphyry that bite you. Come and sit on these things and mess on them. And then if it's unpainted, it's almost impossible to get that, that dirty spot off. So if it's painted, you can just get a wet rag and actually just wipe it off. So yeah, yes it is. A serious pain in the butt painting these things. It's very time consuming. It'll take me literally the whole day now to paint what I need for tomorrow. And because I've got to have two coats as well, not just one coat. But once they're painted and they're up, you'll see. You'll see why I do it like this. It gives you a beautiful finish. See, I've got a couple painted, but the wind's picking up now, so this is not great. This is not great at all. I don't know if it's going to die down again. I hope so. Two, four, six, eight, ten I've done so far. They seem to be okay so far, but if they take off here, you will it's a problem. And they'd get destroyed. So yeah, if the wind picks up anymore, I'm gonna have to stop painting. It's a bit of a problem, man. I really need to get this painting done. But I think it could just be this sort of cloud rain that's coming here. Those clouds are starting to drop a little bit of rain by the looks of it, so. I think it's just that weather front coming through, but yeah, I'm going to keep going here. It's a bit risky, but yeah. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the, <coughs> the wind has put stop to painting for the day. It's come up pretty hectically now. So yeah, no more painting. So now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to build this wall that goes up here, because obviously I can't put the roof on. If I've got a wall that's, uh, this central ring beam is not supported, so I'm going to make it like the same what I do on that side, so it's just a slightly shorter version. And then, yeah, it's going to go, it's going to go pretty much in line with this wall here, so on this beam, yeah, it's going up. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to build now. Sometimes it doesn't switch on like that. Yeah, it's on now. All right. Hopefully we've got sound. I'm now going to lift this beastie up. Move this baby. It's going to fall over. Need a couple of screws in my pocket. And I need a plank to stabilize it once it's up. Need something to stabilize it once it's up. Okay, so I need one of those. Put one there. Okay, let's see how we go here. Children, close your ears. There could be some swearing here. Hmm. Right, so what I'm trying to do is get it up vertical that it can actually lift this, this side up here. Just need a hammer here. 
Anyway, I've got two hammers here. Oh, okay, we don't want to do that. That's not good. Okay, let's get this side up. Hook. See. I'm going to try to get it. Try to get it in the vertical position. It looks about right in the base. Right, there we go. Up. No swearing. Not too much permission. Up. And now I've got this section supported, so now the roof can go on. The roof can go on, so yeah, it's changed a few things now. Now we're getting there as far as getting this house watertight is concerned. It's going to be very cool to get a roof on here. So yeah, I'm going to see what the wind does tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm going to build, start building my scaffold this side and then start getting ready to put, put roof sheets on. First uh, insulation, obviously, and then roof sheets. But yeah, it's exciting stuff, man. It's exciting stuff. It's gonna be cool to get the roof on. Very, very cool. Good morning. <clears throat> so yesterday, today's actually Wednesday, Yesterday, Tuesday, I was going to get stuck into the roofing, but the wind was pumping the whole day. So there was absolutely no way I was lifting any of those polystyrene sheets onto this roof yesterday. But today, beautiful. It's beautiful. So I'm going to come and build my scaffold this side and try to get up onto this roof. And yeah. Try to get some some roof sheets on today. Today's perfect. Tomorrow is good, but then tomorrow night it starts raining apparently. So yeah. You know, it's gonna be a short week again. Which is not great. But anyway, I hope it's gonna help with that fire. The fire's over that side, it's still burning like crazy. This is not smoke, this is actually cloud. But yesterday there was a lot of smoke here. So yeah, no roofing yesterday, but I did get a whole bunch of cladding done. Got that cladding down there, and this cladding down here. And that cladding down there. So yeah, I'm now going to take this scaffold apart, move it to the other side, and get on that roof, man. Okay, so I'm sort of getting there now with the scaffolding. <coughs> Got to put everything together here. Two planks that side. That should give me a nice platform to stand on. <clears throat> Getting all this stuff sorted. Always a mission setting up scaffolds, but it's so much nicer to work on than like a ladder or something. So much safer as well here, but you can't slip off a scaffold. Ladder rungs are deadly, especially on days like today when it's wet. So that when I cut here, I don't mark the board. So I mark the board, to pull it. looks good that looks good okay next process okay so the problem I've got here is I'm working with brand rings which are dirty now these are dirty brand rings and then I'm working with a perfectly pure white board so in between every one of these things that I cut and put up I've got to wash my hands Otherwise my pure white board's no longer pure and white, it's just brown. <laughs> the roof sheets are also dirty. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a game that we play here now with roofing. Gotta try to stay clean, everything's gonna be perfectly clean.
but you're working with these dirty things, so you know, it's not super easy. Not super easy at all. I appreciate this. It could be very expensive for me if my camera smashes. So far, so good. Woohoo! Camera's wobbling a bit there. Yeah, this has got to go in there. Like such. It should fit perfectly onto there. That looks good. Looks good, looks good. Now I need one of these dirty jobs on top of it. Just hold it down for now because I've got to put another one on the next right here because these these are 5.4s I think so 4.2 so they the actual brand rings go further oh. anyway that's the first one how's it look looks fucking cool okay happy days so yeah let's get another one cut it clean it I can measure this next thing now of course and my tape is down the bottom there so yeah, the other thing I've got to do now is figure out how I'm going to get on top here because I've physically got to stand on this now when I'm working. So normally I put a like a decking plank or something on top here to work on. And then yeah, you know, hit it like that. But it should should be okay. But I'm gonna put you guys somewhere else because this is not a great place for the camera. So I'll put you somewhere else and come back now. Yes, you guys are going on a chesty. Because that's the only way that I can make sure my camera doesn't die in this process. 299. 299. Just make sure we're still square here. This is very, very important. That these boards are square. So I haven't got much room for error. Joints on these things. So yeah, okay. Sure, that's clean. That one. Make sure the hands are clean. Up the ladder with this baby. <coughs> Kick it into the last one. Stuff you can't touch it on anything, bang it on anything, bump it on anything. Because if you do, it gets dented and there's no way to get the dent out again. So it's a little bit of a mission working with it. But it's very good insulation. Very, very good. Okay. Let's put all those on there so it doesn't blow away. Alright, now I need to figure out how I'm going to get up here. Because I need to actually sit on top of this thing. So I need a couple of pieces of decking plank. Got the nice straight pieces of decking plank that I can sit on. Let's see what we got here. Some nice three meter pieces. This one looks good. Right, right. And that's physically what I'm just going to sit on up top. Okay, so now I can actually climb up here. These two babies are going to fall off the edge and I can knock that one in. I don't physically have to um, force it 
see it perfectly, but I do need to knock it in. Okay, let's see how this goes. I've got to get up here now without pushing or touching on anything else so that I can break. This is kind of sketchy. It gets better the further up you go. Just start with a pretty scratch. Sort of dirty. Each look, each looks good. All right, it's in. Pagati. See how quickly this is getting dirty on top here. Yeah. Right, now I'm gonna get off again. I think I need more decking planks up here, like three at least. Oh. Yeah, so I don't feel like you're falling down here today. I'm gonna build a proper, proper platform I can sit on. Here. Proper, proper. So we'll cover this whole thing with bloody decking blanks and I have to. And I can work my stuff here. I have to sickle. Don't like sickling. Not enough decking planks still. I can lay these babies down here. Yeah. Sit on here, yeah, no problem. Okay, so I've changed my plan for this for this next one. I'm going to get it in. Make my joint perfect on this side. And then I'm going to overlap it on the other side, on the far side. And then from there, I'm just going to cut it off. <coughs> A little bit more. Once you click it in, it's in, man. Right. It's groovy. Yeah, how's my joint look? Perfect. Okay, put one of those on so it doesn't blow away. Check this dude out. He's sitting on the insulation. Hey, come, Jono. Hey, you want to be part of the roof? Hey, come, little critter. You're a cute little dude. Oh, sorry. Sorry, okay, he'll go down there. Go play on the bottom right. Okay, next sheet. 257. 257. The hands and get this board up. Get this board up. Okay, this is the next one for this for side, yeah. Some of you might be wondering why I'm leaving this gap here. Because this roof is not finished yet. This roof is a barley style roof, which means there's a second section that needs to come in the middle here. And this is where the beams of that second section need to go in. So yeah. This is pretty much how it's working out. This is a bit sketchy, I must admit. <sighs> right. Yeah. Oh, windy wind. So I was going to paint two sheets because I needed two sheets, but then I realized it's such a nice day. I want to paint 22 sheets. That's what I did. But now I'm stopping now because I'm scared they're not going to dry before the before it gets dark. I don't know what the time is now, it's about three o'clock. But yeah, if they don't dry, it is a major problem because they stick together. You can't put them anywhere if they're still wet. So you're... I've painted this many. 
I'm now going to leave it. I'm going to get back up on the roof, fasten everything up there. Um, yeah, hopefully finish my couple of little pieces up top there. And then tomorrow, I'm probably going to put sheets on. If I don't start putting sheets on now, but you uh, we'll see how it goes. Morning. Okay, check this out. So yeah, this is 7 o'clock in the morning. It's been like this pretty much the whole night. It's actually smoke at one stage. Serious smoke from the fire. Although the fire is still far away. But yeah, this is... This is not great weather for putting roof on. This is slip and die weather, this. So I'm just going to wait, give it another hour or so, and just see what the, the weather does, because you're a foot on a roof sheet in this weather. Mm -mm. You're going to come down, and it's not going to be pretty. So yeah, let's just wait a little bit. Hopefully the sun burns some of this off. This is just mist. It's not really rain yet, although there's some serious rain on its way. Okay, well you can see how wet everything is here. Oh my. I mean, it's just sopping wet. Everything that's supposed to be drying in there. I don't even want to look at it. All my beautiful ceiling boards that I painted yesterday that are supposed to be dry are absolutely sopping wet. <coughs> anyway. My walls are good. This is nice. Check out cool ceiling there, man. Check at these. These are all, <laughs> they're all absolutely soaked. Even these ones. Yeah. This is just a mess, man. Okay. Just got to be patient and wait a bit. Wait a bit for this mist to clear up and some stuff to dry out of it, yeah, because this is... Not a good idea to get on the roof now on this. Okay, here we go. The weather is still not great. Still lots of humidity, but I'm hoping that it's not going to make the, the roof sheets too wet. So I've got to stand on these things. It becomes deadly if you're working on a wet roof. It's not just... Yeah, you know, it's really, really bad. So, anyway, I'm going to take this top one off. I'll choose that one because that's absolutely soaking wet. Put that one one side. Let's see how this goes now. Obviously, when you do this, you can't have any wind. Which is good because there's no wind to yet. Yeah. It does become a little bit sketchy. The wind starts blowing. Um, move this one out the way, but yeah. I need to get, need to get in here to lift these up. It's a really nice roof sheet. Alright, so I've got over 50 more overlap the gutter. That's what's going to dictate the line here today. Okay, let's, let's start with two. If the wind picks up and I've got ten of them up here, it gets a bit sketchy. Okay, let's get the first baby on. Alright guys, I hope you can see it. Check how wet this roof is still. So that's what my roof sheet's going to look like in this weather today. Absolutely critical to get this first one square. If it's not square, the whole rest of the roof is not square. And yeah, that's a problem. So let me go and get my right. Let's get some more sheets up here. To put a couple on before I actually fasten them down. Just to make sure my square is good. It's very difficult to get a square from one, from one sheet. Okay, let's 
dust off the bottom here. There's also scratches. Right. Okay, tape. 50 mil. 50 mil over here. I'm going to put a screw in here now. On this end. Cross of it. It's fifty. Oh, I see it all depends how you take your fifty. It's basically telling me. Across a bit, yeah. All right. Okay, I've got those straight and fastened. Get the next one up here. Yeah. Very close today. Have everyone done roofing without gloves? understand what it means to cut your hands with this stuff. It is serious and you can really really cut yourself there. So yeah, you do not do these roofs without gloves man, unless you're a crazy mother. Got to, got to wear gloves with this stuff. Right, we're still on 50. Perfect. Ah, see, these are the some of the problems we have on the roof now. Once you want to put something down, it normally just slides down the roof. What a pain! It tends to put everything skew. decided to go for a, a wood roof screw rather than a steel roof screw. The steel roof screws are off beautifully. But I'm worried that they're not going to be able to get enough bite on the on the actual wood underneath to firmly hold this roof down. Because we are in a serious storm area where our winter storms can have winds. 120k an hour or more, it's like ridiculous stuff. So yeah, it's got to, got to be strong. Can't just wing it here, otherwise you're going to come on a Monday morning and your roof is gone. So yeah, it's a little bit sketchy. It's got to be done right. That's first. The screws I put in. I definitely felt that it didn't have enough bite. The problem is that the drilling is going beautifully through the metal. But then after that, um, it, it tends to drill out the wood. See, here's the, here's the metal roof screw. It tends to drill out the wood, and then it doesn't have such a strong fasten on it. So you know, it falls through beautifully. It definitely doesn't have the same hole that this thing's got. It's a much better, much stronger screw. That's what I'm using. All right, so I got my roof sheets lined up, ready to go up. But before I do anything, to sweep this roof, because all those metal filings that we drilled out. If you <coughs> don't sweep them off, oh man, they scratch the hell out of your roof. And that's not good. Do not want that. 
So this is not a problem. Metal filing's a problem. Okay, so let me climb up. Here. A bit of a mission climbing up here. I just need to see if I can get closer to this side. Hold on to this thing when I climb up. Too old and fat for this. <laughs> no, I'm joking. For a 50 year old, I think I'm still in pretty good shape, man. Right, and I think it's because I do stuff like this. I need to sit on my ass in the office and actually do physical work literally every day of my life. And I ride my bike. I don't race anymore, but I still flip and active. I enjoy it. It's like a gym session every day. Full gym session. Alright, let's get these shavings off you, man. These shavings are off you. Then there's nothing that can scratch my roof. Alright, you're getting there now. Get in there, the weather's looking better. The weather's looking better. I've got all that section down there. Gonna put in these screws over here now. You can see nicely up here how I've weed eaten a bit more bush around there. There's still a lot more that I need to go, but yo, does it eat the, the gut. These rocks and the bushes and that like reed just destroys the gut. So I was, I was working out today, I've got it. The gut lasts between every time I pull it out and extend it, pretty much between 15 and 20 seconds before I've got to pull it out again. So a full spool of gut, maybe an hour, and then I've got to re-spool again. So this stuff is heavy on the on the weed eater, man. The motor can take it. Though. I've got a very strong machine, but the, the gut, man. I'm going to go tomorrow. I think it's raining tomorrow now. Let's see if I can find some better gut for it. I also need to get some more roofing screws. I don't have enough of those. And yeah, I've got a few things I need to get to now. So I'm actually really glad for the rain. I'm hoping the rain puts out that beastie of a fire. You can still see the smoke billowing there. Last night this whole place was full of smoke. And I mean that's miles away that way. But yeah. Check out these things. This is just from the dew last night. Uh, absolutely trashed all my work from yesterday. All of these things have to be repainted now. Uh, they were like almost dry, almost, almost, almost dry when I went to pack up yesterday. Look at them now. Completely stuffed. Completely buggered. Uh, dew now is repaint. Another whole day. Another whole day of graft on these things. That that frustrates me, man. I've got to do things twice. Oh man, I hate it. I hate it. Yesterday I thought, you know, when it was at like three o'clock, and I said, hey, I need to stop this now because it's gonna stuff's not gonna dry properly. And it was fine. It was the weather was lacking till like four o'clock, and then boom, in came the mist, and nothing dried. Literally nothing has dried here. They're all just the stuff up. And the problem is the water. Yeah, check on this one. The water is sitting so heavily on these things. Look how it runs off here. Look at that. Okay. Another old day of fainting coming up. I suppose it could be worse. They could have got blown around and got damaged by the wind. That would have been much worse. Here's the boards. Okay, just got to repaint them all. But oh man, such a waste of time. Alright, well, anyway, as much as it sucks to have to repaint all those boards, I need to get this roof finished. So, get another sheet up there. Achieve something for the week. Mm. All right, there we go. Cut. Right, this edge is like a razor now. But yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. I've got my gloves. What's this baby doing? 
go up there and pull it up and then that section of the roof is done. Doesn't matter how strong it is, the old house will blow down before the roof comes off. Alright. section. The roof is done on this section. So next week I've got that section there to do. If once I've painted all these boards again, that section there. Um, and then the two sides, start on those sides. So at least this piece is done. Now I've got one piece of the house that's sort of waterproof at the bottom. Sort of, not really, but sort of. So I think I'm going to do that for do that section first next week. for watching guys enjoy the scenery we'll see you next week again